guys. Content warning. This game contains representations of psychosis, including visions and voice hearing, which may, uh, which may, uh, which some may find disturbing. This includes those who have had similar experiences themselves. People will experience uh, uh, with experience of psychosis, and professionals in psychiatry have assisted in these de de uh, depictions. This game includes a uh, realistic depiction of uh, graphic violence, trauma, death, terror, burning, drowning, confined spaces, and themed themes of child loss. If you would like to find out more about psychosis and mental health, visit uh, Hellblade Help. Dot info so guys you guys can uh, already know what uh, this is this is hellblade 2 senwa saga so let's go okay oh um uh, headphones yeah text text small yeah just uh go with it Okay, this is uh, barely visible. I want it a little bit more visible. Something like that. Okay. New story. Here we go, guys. Senua, the outcast who became a warrior, who faced her demons and challenged the gods for her lover's soul, has accepted the voices, the furies, as part of herself. Just like her mother Galena, she was not like other people. She saw and heard the world differently. Her father, Zinbel, told her she was evil, tainted by the sin of her mother. Tormented and afraid, she retreated from the world. Until love broke through like the rays of a new dawn. Dylan. In Dillion's acceptance, she could live again. He gave light to her mind and freed a warrior from her body. But the voice of her father stayed with her, reminding her of her curse. And when the plague came to her land, the people blamed Senua. She took her darkness with her banishing herself to the wilds. So she was not there when the Northmen massacred her people and sacrificed Dillion to the god of hell. Senua's torment was so deep that the world around her fell away. She took the head of her beloved, the vessel of his soul, and vowed to go to hell herself to save him. Through mist-shrouded horrors, she fought to find the secret path that would lead her to the very gates of hell. But the way was marked by fire and illusion. Senua had to fight the gods that guarded these paths and stave off the rot which threatened to consume her mind and end her life. Only conquest could open the gates. Only blood would bring her face to face with Hela. Face to face with defeat. Once again, Senua was engulfed in darkness, lost in a maze of misery and confusion until Dillion's voice led her to the promise of victory. A sword that could kill a god. 
To win the sword, Senua would drown in her darkest memories, pulling at the shards lodged in flesh, mind and soul. She pressed deeper into the underworld, resisting its grasping hands and deafening cries, until she found her prize before the guardian of Hell's gates. Senua released her rage, a fury that could not be stopped, not by savage jaws, not by waves of warriors, not by the pull of death itself. In defeat and desperation, Senua begged for her beloved's release. But a sacrifice must be made, and burdens cast away. Senua's fate was never in the hands of the gods, but in her own. Only she could choose, out of love, to live, to go on, and to take us with her. Okay. Beautiful uh, recap. So now what? What's that? Okay. Oh, is this gonna be like sprint? Yeah. Okay. Interact, focus, hold, okay. Have fast attack, heavy attack. Interact with F, okay. Okay, let's continue. herself be taken, dragged in chains to their ships, so she can trace the poison to its source, find the heart, and cut it out. Stop the slavers, keep her promise. But plants can drift off course. Sorry. How do you, uh... Hey. What did I do wrong? 
Exit photo mode. <laughs> Sorry. Forces dim and vast, fate can stop you cold. A dream has founded with the ship. She must find a new light to steer by and find the next sign. We cannot stay here. Too cold. Let's climb. Don't. She's ever known half drowned, lost in a world still clouded to her eyes. But she won't yield. She must fight on, as she always has. Remember, we've been to hell before. There it is. This is only the beginning. I'm somewhere. You need to climb again. She will fall if she does. She will die. No. Climb, Senwa. Climb. Climb. She's hurt. So tired. She's going to fall. No. Careful, Senwa.
The voices draw her onward. The ones who didn't live. The ones she could not save. She can hear them calling. Lives stolen by the Northmen. She carries them with her. Always. She is afraid, exhausted, scared. She won't stop. Stronger forces drive her on. She needs you. She needs you. She needs you to go to her quickly. She's dying. Help. Look, look, look. That shit is pathetic. She needs you. Science are leading me. They brought me here. She knows that all through this world there are signs and symbols waiting to be discovered. The meaning is there. If only you can find it. Follow him. Be ready to fight. She is a warrior. A warrior with no sword. No weapon. She came here with nothing. What good are you to anyone with no weapon? He will kill you. He will.
trying to trick you. They are already dead, yeah, but give me that sword of his. I can't get up here. God damn it. Oh wait, maybe interact. What's that sword? It's beautiful though. Come on. Where do we go? <laughs> I'm already stuck. Ah, okay. No. No way through. Gone super saiyan. Oh shoot. Okay. What's happening? I know that's your focus. Focus. Let it block you. They are suffering. But I set them free. Simple. You need to find it. It's here. Somewhere. Look for it. You need to find it. Ah, okay. 
Find somewhere to hide. We got a sword. I forgot how to parry. <laughs> 